Hello and welcome to this video on how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. In this video, we will go over the steps you need to follow to get Kali Linux up and running on your computer using VirtualBox. Before starting the installation process, we will learn what is VirtualBox and what is Kali Linux. So let's learn what is VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a free and open source virtualization software that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your computer. This means that you can use VirtualBox to install and run different operating systems such as Linux, Windows or Mac operating system. VirtualBox is a powerful and versatile tool that can be used for a variety of purposes including testing and development, running multiple operating systems and even gaming. It is also easy to use and it is available for free making it a great option for anyone looking to try out virtualization. Now let's learn a little bit about Kali Linux. So Kali Linux is a free and open source operating system based on Debian Linux distribution. It is specifically designed for digital forensics and penetration testing. One of the main feature of Kali Linux is its extensive collection of tools and utilized for digital forensics and penetration testing. It includes over 600 pre-installed tools that can be used for tasks such as network scanning, network mapping, vulnerability analysis and password cracking. So now we have little bit idea about what is VirtualBox and Kali Linux. So now let's get download this both the files and start the installation process. So to, to download the VirtualBox, open the browser, go to google.com and just search VirtualBox download. Click on the first link of download Oracle VM VirtualBox. When you click on the link, you will prompt to download for different host for example Windows, Mac and Linux. We are using Windows so we will download for Windows host and it will be prompted to download. I have already downloaded it so I will not download it again. Same you have to download Kali Linux. To download Kali Linux just search Kali Linux download in the browser. Click on the first link which is get Kali Linux and you will and you will see the options to download here we are using virtual machine so I will click on the virtual machine option again you will see different options so we are using virtual box so click on the virtual box download again I will not download this because I have already downloaded to save the time now as you can see I have already downloaded both the file to save the time now we will uh, install virtual box by clicking double click click yes to continue here the process will get started click on the next button again click on the next button click on the yes button again yes and install okay so installation has been completed now you can tick this button and once you click on the finish button virtual box will open as you can see virtual box is started up and running this is the first screen you will see when you open the virtual box. Now here you can see I have already extracted this file and here you can see the folder. Go inside the folder here you will see two files. Uh, I have to double click on this first file which is dot vbox extension. You just double click on it and it will get open into virtual box automatically. As you can see it is open into the virtual box. It is imported successfully. Now you have to do some settings here, uh, click on the setting button, here you will see the all the settings, you can change the name if you want, in system you can set the RAM for the machine, for example here I am giving 4 GB, next go to the network and here you can set it to breach and click on ok. Now all the settings has been done, now just click on the start button to start Kali Linux. It will take some time, so let's wait. Okay, great. So our Kali Linux is, is started and it is up and running successfully. Here you will see the login screen. So default login username and password is Kali Kali. So this is the first look 
when you open Kali Linux and now we have successfully installed and it is up and running uh, by clicking on this icon you can see all the available tools in future coming videos we will learn about all these tools uh, by clicking on this icon the terminal will get open here by by ifconfig command you can see your IP address uh, don't worry if you don't know what is ifconfig command in future coming videos we will learn about terminal how to use and all the basic commands for now we have successfully installed Kali Linux into VirtualBox I hope this video is helpful and thank you for watching this video